the almighty loan agreement, which kicked it all off. A document that was signed by the executive but was never taken to the National Assembly to, de to be legitimized. So this is a bastard picnic here. This loan agreement that have governed their actions from 2012 to 2014 is illegitimate. It didn't go to the House. This was illegal, and every action by the government using this as their justification for the manner in which they were handling these Petro-Carib monies. If this is illegal, then consequently any claim as this as your backup for why you do what you do cannot be legal as well. Hence the reason for the matter being taken before the Supreme Court, and before the court can rule on it now, bam, see the petro Carib Loans Act 2015. Here to the rescue. All the laws that have been passed since this government has taken office have been about centralizing the power more in that almighty cabinet. So we've made the argument that matters before the courts should not be legislated. The judiciary should be allowed to vent this matter and determine if it was in violation or contravention to the laws of the land. But again, we see with section four through six, where the government of the day has effectively rendered the judiciary useless because it's apparent now that whenever there are violations by any sitting government, this borough government has set the trend that, oh, you don't have to take it to litigation in the courts. You to just take it to legislation in the House. We, we are in an ominous situation. The bill is a draconian law. It is, in our opinion, a law that's designed to enrich a certain few favored elites. And it is no doubt, in our opinion, a slush fund, strictly for the purpose of campaigning and winning elections that are eminently going to be held. And so we must campaign against this law. We have, within ourselves, resolved that the VIP, if nobody else, is going to fight against this law to ensure that those sections which my brother spoke about are repealed. As of today, the VIP desk is calling for solidarity with the NTUCB with the Belize Chamber of Commerce, with the Council of Churches, all the social partners that claim they are against this bill. Well, not just talk the talk, walk the walk. Walk the walk, because if we have to lead one charge in at the street, Mr. Prime Minister, that is what we're prepared to do right now. At the ending of it, it's an unjust law, and if the law unjust, the people have a right to resist it.